Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from Clicksgeek. And today I have a Facebook ads junk removal campaign. I'm going to walk you through the main statistics here. Over the last 14 days running Facebook Messenger ads and the results we've been able to get, which is pretty crazy considering that right now it is November 28th. So within that last 14 days we had Thanksgiving, which is a holiday break, and we were still getting leads, which is pretty cool. So I'll walk you through our Facebook ads campaign, how we set it up. And I'm going to walk you through all of the automations and funnels and workflows we got going to generate these leads on autopilot using Facebook ads. All right. So what you're looking at right now is the inside of the client's Facebook ads manager. And we're just going to go high level statistics here. They're running seven days a week, 24 seven, right? And we have an after hours automation built in for leads that come in after a certain time. So that's all taken care of. Now, this client is running a very small budget which is $27 a day, which is fine. You can run $25 a day with Facebook ads. In Google ads, that's just not realistic at all. Facebook ads, this works. So if we see here, we have our budget, $27 a day, Monday through Friday, results in the last 14 days, November 14th, 2023 to November 27th, 2023, they've gotten 18 leads. And you'll see here, just reach impressions, all that stuff. I know you guys don't care about that, but uh, cost per result, right? So it's cost per actual lead, $18.48 for a junk removal lead, which is awesome. Ideally for junk removal with Facebook, I want to be between $10 and $25 a lead, ideally. And sometimes this happens faster than others. Usually we let this run within 30 days. This guy came out of the gate and was getting pretty decent um, cost per lead pretty quickly without much optimization to the campaign. So that was exciting to see. But $18.48 per lead, which is pretty awesome. Nice. Now, there's a lot that goes into this. So I'm going to take you over and show you the ads. So we're running four ads, right? So we have a bunch of ads here. Actually, we have more than four now. So our team's been busy, right? So let's go into, we have two video ads and a couple image ads. So now they're running their special offer. Let's get into it first, right? It is 10% off. So first time junk removal clients, 10% off. And if we scroll down here, Come past all this stuff and you'll see our ads over here right so they're really basic ads you don't need anything crazy the real magic comes when they click chat and messenger get a quote so from here our system is going to take over so as soon as so these are messenger ads so as soon as someone sees this ad in their Facebook and they're interested in taking the deal they'll say they'll click um, get a quote and then their Facebook messenger pops up so they don't leave Facebook now, I'm going to go over to my phone because I'm going to send a preview lead through, and I'm going to show you guys how this works on my phone. So as as if I'm somebody who clicked this ad, and I'm going to show you how it works and how our system turns these people into pre-qualified leads by making them jump through three hurdles. So we make them raise their hand three different times to say, yes, I want to quote. Yes, here's my phone number. And then again, yes, this is the correct phone number when we text them. So three different pre-qualification hoops to make sure these leads are distilled down to quality. People who say not interested or um, you know looking for a job or any other BS like that, our clients don't even know that happens, right? They're never even notified because those, those types of messages, those are not leads, right? They just die immediately in the campaign. We only move forward with pre-qualified stuff. So let's jump over to my phone and I'll show you what this looks like. All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to walk you through what this looks like in Messenger. So if someone clicks one of our Messenger ads for the junk mobile client, this pops up, right? It says, hi, Robert, are you interested in getting a quote for junk mobile services? Click below and let me know. Now where it says, yes, I would like a quote is already pre-populated and highlighted. They have to click that button, right? It pulls the name, it pulls the person's name from their Facebook profile. Now, if they say, no, not interested or whatever, I want a job, whatever, it dies there, does not advance. They have to click, yes, I would like a quote. If they click that, it says, sounds good, Robert, great. What's a good number I can text it to? Then it will pre-populate the phone number for the person whose chat this is, if it's attached to their Facebook profile. If not, you'll have to type in your phone number yourself. So we wanna get the phone number. That's the main thing we want here. So hopefully, editing team edits out my phone number so nobody randomly texts me from YouTube. <laughs> but after you provide a phone number, it says, okay, great, I just sent you a text. Let's move our conversation over to there, smiley face. Right, so the goal is to get the phone number and then we text them. So let's hop over to my other part of the phone where I show you what the text looks like. Okay guys, so after we ask for the phone number in Messenger, it, Messenger's done, right? The system stops in Messenger. Now it takes over on text message. 
So the prospect gets a text message. It says, hi, Rob, this is XYZ Junk Removal. Thanks for messaging us on Facebook for a junk removal quote. Please reply yes to make sure we have the right number. Reply stop to unsubscribe. So this is the third qualification um, hurdle, right? So we're making them jump through three. We're making them say, yes, I want a junk removal quote. Then we're making them give us their phone number. Then we're making them reply again, yes, we have the right phone number about the junk removal quote. They say, yes. Great, thank you for confirming that. I'll give you a call in just a moment to chat about your junk removal project. From here, it's done. It fires off as a hot lead to our client. All right, so three pre-qualification hoops are met. Now, let me show you the backend system and how this is all set up and how this all works. This is really cool. Okay, so we are in our backend CRM. Now, you don't have to worry. You don't have to log into anything. The only thing you have to do when you're a client of ours is call the leads as we text them to you after they've jumped through all these hoops to become pre-qualified. The sooner you call them, the hotter the lead they are, the higher chance they're gonna close into a booked junk removal job for you. That's the most important thing. So what you're looking at now is our backend CRM. It's where we house all of our workflows and automations. So you saw what it looks like in Messenger. You saw what the text message looks like. Now let me show you behind the scenes on how all of that stuff works, right? So there's three different automations that we use here. We have our auto miss call text back we have our messenger lead form and we have a thing called hot lead cappy facebook cappy so let's start with the miss call text back that's really basic right so it's just a workflow we set up that if an incoming call from your ad is missed that we're you're, we're touching we're touching base with the client on your behalf running this runs in the background 24 7 you don't even have to worry about this right so you miss a call right you're in the job site you're you're in the truck doesn't really matter so if you missed a call and it's a new client, it goes in, it's a first time caller, it goes into one of two buckets. If it's a new, if it's a first time caller, it goes in the yes bucket. If it's a um, existing, already in our system as a lead, it goes into this bucket. So first time callers, the system creates a lead, assigns a user contact tag, blah, blah, blah. If, it, if our system recognizes that it's a lead in the system already, basically an existing contact or lead, then it just automatically goes down here and skips all of the creating a new stuff. So you miss a call, it works its way down the system, you, a text message goes out to you immediately. You have a missed call from contact name, contact phone. And that goes out to you as well if it's an existing lead, not just the first time. Then it comes down to here. This actually goes out to the prospect who called you that you didn't answer. Hey there, sorry I missed your call. Did you want to schedule an estimate? If so, reply yes. Very important here. So we're not wasting time with people. They call back who are not, you know going to give you a... BS and not be great leads. So if they reply yes, if you'd like to schedule an estimate, please give me a quick call at phone number, right? If they reply no, not interested, blah, 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 whatever, it goes down in this bucket and we just end up pushing for a phone call. If you'd like to schedule an estimate, please give me a quick call to chat about your project at phone number, right? So that's pretty much how that works, the missed call text back. Very basic stuff. If we go back and we go into the actual lead form, right? Let me walk you through how this works. So a Facebook lead form is submitted through Messenger and we have their phone number, Facebook pulls their name, their email, all that stuff. And it's within the hours of operation. So within the hours, it goes into this workflow. Hi, Joe, this is Kevin from XYZ Junk Removal. Thanks for messaging us on Facebook for a junk removal estimate. Please reply yes to make sure we have the right number. Remember this text that I read to you guys? So they have to reply yes. This is the third hurdle of pre-qualification. So if they reply, yes, it creates an opportunity and it sends a text to you, the junk removal client, you have a hot new Facebook lead, call them ASAP, name, phone, email. And then this goes out to the actual client after you get notified of the hot lead. Great, thanks for confirming that. I'll give you a call in just a moment to chat about your junk removal project, right? Remember we saw, I showed you guys this in the text message. So this is how the automation actually works in the back end. So that's if, it's within business hours and they reply yes. If they reply no, not interested, anything like that, it dies, right? Because it's not a good lead. Our clients never even know that they replied. If they don't reply, it goes here. If you still need a junk removal quote, reply yes and let's chat. If they reply yes, same deal, becomes a text, goes out to you, text goes out to the client after. If they reply no, not interested, F off, whatever, it doesn't matter, dies there. If they don't respond, it pushes for a phone call one last time. If you'd like to schedule a free junk removal estimate, please give me a quick call. Right, so that's the three, the two branches right there, and that is within business hours. Now with 
after business hours, let's say it comes in at eight o'clock at night, right? Same drill, reply yes if, if you to make sure the right number. If they reply yes, it goes into here, creates a text notification. After hours, you have a hot new Facebook lead, call them ASAP. No, not interested, F you, goes here and dies. If no answer, again, we try and push them one last time. If you still need a custom quote, reply yes. If there's reply yes, becomes a hot lead after hours. If no, it goes in here. If no response, we push for the phone call. So there's a branch for every possible outcome. And that's how this system works. And again, this all runs in the background 24 hours. And the only thing you have to worry about is getting notified through text message from us that you have a hot Facebook lead because that means they jump through all these hoops just to get to you, right? If they didn't go pass every hoop, you don't get notified. Now, last automation, hot lead Facebook Cappy. This is pretty cool. This is kind of what separates us from the rest of everybody else. So essentially what we're doing here, when an opportunity has changed, and what that means in our system, when an opportunity has changed to a hot lead, which means they passed all three hurdles and the lead was texted to you, then our system sends that lead data back through Facebook's conversion API. It tells Facebook, find us more people like this. This is our customer avatar. Put us in front of more audiences with people like this. So the longer this campaign runs, the more lead data we send back to Facebook, the more efficient Facebook gets. So really cool stuff. And this again, this all runs in the background 24 seven. So um, keep that in mind. You're not gonna see the hot lead cappy stuff pretty much anywhere else. It's, it's uh, only a handful of agents that run this stuff right now. So it's just a way to further increase efficiency in your Facebook ads campaigns. So if you want this campaign for your junk mobile business, then apply in the link in the description below this video. And if your location's not taken, we can roll this out for you in as fast as 24 hours.